Hey guys, Spudknocker here, as always, and today we're going to take a look at something that has been highly anticipated by the DCS community and Flight Sim fans for a long time now, the F-18C Hornet Stick Grip from Thrustmaster. An add-on stick grip for Thrustmaster's legendary Warthog HOTAS system that has just been made available for pre-order in Europe this morning, with pre-orders coming worldwide in just a few short days on the 10th of June and releasing on July 25th, 2019. I know a lot of you guys out there who are DCS fans and Flight Sim fans will be very happy to know that this stick is coming very soon after a very long wait. So Thrustmaster was kind enough to send me a fantastic care package that included both the F-18C stick grip and the TRP rudder pedals. But this video will concentrate on the stick grip with a later video coming on the pedals themselves. The box that the stick grip came in really surprised me by how premium it felt. The graphics and artwork on the box, as well as the packaging itself, felt far more upscale than the glossy toy-like packaging and styrofoam uh, protection of the base Warthog Hotas system. The packaging really just makes it feel special, especially with the box prominently stating that the stick is officially licensed by Boeing, who is now the owner of McDonnell Douglas's trademarks, the original developer of the F-18 Hornet's human machine interfaces in the cockpit. Once you open the box and pick your new stick up, you are immediately aware that this is a high-end product that has had a lot of thought and R&D put behind it from its steady structure and nice heft. Thrustmaster worked directly with Boeing to make an exact replica of the stick found in the F-18C Hornet. The DCS community will also be very happy to hear the stick is 90% metal, with only the curved head being made out of a very strong and durable ABS plastic that will give zero give or bend behind it even with the roughest of users. In fact, I really didn't even realize that the head was made out of plastic until I looked at the specs sheet. Until now, the only F-18C stick grips that Thrustmaster had shown to the public were the original mock-ups that were in fact made of all plastic, which led many to believe that the end product would feel cheap and toy-like. But FYI, the production stick couldn't be further from that assumption. The initial feel of the stick and its fantastic packaging will make any DCS or Flight Sim fan think that this is quite the unique and special product as you race to get it connected to your Warthog base and fire up your DCS F-18C Hornet to fly out over the Strait of Hormuz to shack some tanks with IR Mavericks and hopefully splash some bandits. An interesting side note here about the F-18C stick grips construction, the real stick that was designed by MDD was made from plastic resins, but Thrustmaster opted to go ahead and build the stick from metal to keep it in line with the A10C stick that had come before it and increase its weight and keep the nice premium feel of its predecessor. Now let's move on to flying with the F-18C grip in a flight simulator. Thrustmaster worked directly with Eagle Dynamics for the best possible experience with the DCS F-18C Lot 20 Hornet module. In fact, those of you with a keen eye on the ED forums will have known that Matt Wagner, the executive producer of DCS World, has been flying with one for months now. And some of his glowing praise for the new product adorned Thrustmaster's marketing materials for the new F-18C stick grip. Once you get it out of the box and run to your battle station or home cockpit and attach the stick to your Warthog base and hop into a DCS F-18C mission, you'll feel a massive and very positive difference between the older Warthog grip and the new F-18C stick grip. McDonnell Douglas, along with Northrop, back in the late 1970s, during the development of the F-18 Hornet, placed a large emphasis on improving the human-machine interface 
in fighter aircraft due to lessons learned during the Vietnam War and Yom Kippur Wars. This idea would eventually become known as Hands on Throttle and Stick, or HOTAS. Aircraft designed with HOTAS in mind allowed pilots to concentrate on flying their aircraft while in combat, with all the controls they needed to manipulate the radar, switch weapons, deploy countermeasures, etc., etc., on the, pan on the throttle and stick rather than having to reach the consoles or instrument panels, which could sometimes be a deadly distraction when facing down North Vietnamese air defenses or swarms of Arab MiGs over the Sinai. Beyond just squeezing lots of buttons onto the stick, McDonnell Douglas set out to make sure the stick fit into a pilot's hands well and naturally to decrease pilot fatigue and make things feel more intuitive for the pilot while his or her eyes are outside of the cockpit. This was especially important in the late 1970s with the FA-18A as it would be replacing the remaining F-4N and F-4S Phantom IIs in the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps squadrons. F-4 Phantom IIs have a notoriously uncomfortable and awkward stick grip that pilots from all F-4 users across the world lamented for many years and up until today. As a result of all of this R&D, McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing stick, is considered to be the best in the world in the aerospace defense industry. With Thrustmaster's F-18 stick grip, because it is a one-to-one -one replica of the real thing, you can feel all of this original R&D work done by MDD and Northrop. It fits into your hand very naturally and easily. The sensor select and trim buttons are very accessible with your thumb and the pickle button is offset to the left just enough not to be easily bumped accidentally. A very, very important feature when your aircraft is carrying thousands of pounds of deadly ordnance over populated areas. F-A-18C stick grip is also slightly longer than the original Warthog grip. This along with its very ergonomic shape makes flying with the F-A-18C stick grip far more precise and comfortable and thus fun in my opinion. Thrustmaster's attention to detail in the replica is very evident with small details like structural screws of the stick that hold it all together are in the same places as its real life counterpart in the real F-A-18 or F-15E. Thrustmaster has also done a very good job on the haptic feedback of the stick's hats and buttons, and really outshines the older Warthog stick grip in this respect, and makes me really, really want Thrustmaster to leverage all of this new R&D into redesigning the Warthog throttle or building a new F-18C throttle. I would certainly pay quite a bit of money for that. I would also like to mention here that the stick has a two-stage trigger, unlike its real-life counterpart, and it feels like a total upgrade over the Warthog grip, with a shorter length of travel and a more snappy feedback to the detents. So a grizzled veteran DCS F5E Tiger II pilot will be very happy going guns on a bandit with this stick. Because the F-A-18 stick has fewer buttons than the stick found on the A-10C and F-16C, Thrustmaster added a little rocker switch just to the left of the reseat button that has both an up, down, and punch, push functionality to it. I imagine a lot of players are going to be using this for recentering or zooming their view with VR or track IR. However, unfortunately, this little switch is my only negative point on the stick. It feels a little cheap and toy-like, unlike the rest of the stick. It would have been nice if this would have felt a little bit more solid, but its added functionality is very much appreciated when flying airplanes other than the F-A-18 in DCS, and the haptics of the switch feel very nice despite its light plastic nature. So speaking of flying other aircraft with this stick in DCS, a perfect and natural choice would be Razbam's DCS AV-8B Night Attack Harrier II which uses the same stick grip and is another McDonnell Douglas designed aircraft now owned by Boeing. The only difference here is the sensor select and the trim hat are switched in the AV-8B due to the Harrier's constant need for trim adjustments, necessitating it being closer to the pilot's thumb. 
Now, it would have been really cool if Thrustmaster had come up with a way to switch the trim and sensor select positions on the stick and would have given them a twofer replica. But it still suits the Harrier very, very well. In the future, Razbam's DCS F-15E Strike Eagle will be another perfect aircraft to use the F-A-18C stick grip with, as the Hornet, Super Hornet, Harrier, and Strike Eagle families all share the exact same stick design. Now, a lot of people in the DCS community, including myself, were wondering why exactly this stick took so long to come to market, especially now that the F-A-18C for DCS has released more than a year ago. The official word from Thrustmaster is that developing the relationship with Boeing took a bit longer than expected, but they used that extra time for more R&D work and to bring an even better product to market. I would say that it has definitely been worth the wait, and the new stick is just fantastic in almost all facets. In the end, I would recommend this stick grip as a fantastic upgrade to the Warthog Hotas to anyone in the DCS or Greater Flight Sim community who is a fan of McDonnell Douglas's and now Boeing's legendary line of fighter aircraft from the Legacy Hornet to the Super Hornet, Strike Eagle, and Harrier II. The stick will be available for pre-order in Europe through Thrustmasters, a partner, Flight Sim Expo June 7th with a worldwide pre-order starting June 10th with a commercial availability starting July 25th, 2019. The F-A-18C stick grip will retail for a price of $229.99 or €199 Euros for those countries who haven't landed on the moon. I can tell you now that I am very honored to be able to show off this awesome and highly anticipated piece of flight sim kit to you guys and I would recommend it for any DCS world player no matter what aircraft you fly. The ergonomics of McDonnell Douglas's classic flight stick design makes it perfect for any flight sim fan in any aircraft for a precise, comfortable, and fun flight sim experience. If you liked the video, please give us a like and a subscribe, and make sure that you share this video to get the word out about the new F-A-18C stick grip from Thrustmaster. I know they would very much appreciate it, just as much as I would. So, thanks guys, and fly safe, and hopefully enjoy this new product once you receive it.